A vigil on Tabor Avenue for Chris Gomes, whose murder prompted a standoff between his killer and police. My little brother, he was a very loving kid. Uh, treat everybody well. Surveillance video shows Gomes SUV pull into the suspect's driveway. A man fires shots into the car, which rolls into the street. The suspect follows and then runs back to his house, where police say he then shot responding officer Robert Otis. It was really an awesome show of support for the officer. The bandaged officer, who's new to the force, was released from the hospital after being shot four times. And he did an amazing job last night in his actions saved his own life, possibly the lives of others. Police say 32-year-old Kevin Serpa shot the officer before barricading himself in his home for four hours. Police say he took his own life when he finally came out. The last thing he told me, I'll see you later. Chris Gomes' family is struggling to understand the shooter's motivation as they grieve the loss of their 28-year-old brother. But I don't see why someone would just shoot him. I have no words for him, no sympathy for him at all. Now, police say there may be some sort of connection between the suspect and the victim. The victim's family says they don't know how the two may have known each other.